everyone, it's Liz and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my best of 2016 video. Very excited about this because I have a lot of products I want to share with you guys from skincare to brushes to makeup, obviously. <laughs> so these are my top 2016 beauty products that I've been loving for the past year. So the first thing I'm going to be starting off with is primers. My first primer that I've been loving for 2016, and I don't know why it took me six years to get it, but it is the MAC Fix Plus. Hands down, it has been one of my favorite products of 2016. I can't believe I haven't bought it before. Um, I just always thought it was like a gimmick at first and then I finally tried it out and I'm obsessed. It helps get rid of that powderiness on your face that you have after you do your makeup because you use your setting powder. If you use more powder then that's going to be even more. So Fix Plus has been an A plus in my book <laughs> for 2016. Next primer that has been one of my favorites for 2016 is the Veil Prim Mineral Primer by Hourglass. It's just been a holy grail. It keeps your makeup on all day. It helps give you a nice satin smooth finish on your face that is just like so like enriching. <laughs> it's just so good. Um, the product is more like it's oil free but it almost feels like an oil but it doesn't feel heavy like an oil. It feels like a very lightweight one. It doesn't feel like I'm putting on like a pound of cream on my face. It just feels like very light, very gentle on the skin and it really helps just put on the makeup nice and smoothly as well. My last primer that I've been loving for 2016 is the Porefessional. I am obsessed with the Porefessional. It's by Benefit and it's just been one of my favorite ones ever and uh, I just can't get enough of it. Um, I use this after I put on my primer so then I put it on more like around my cheek area, around my nose because obviously that's like where you get the most pores, you know, and um, around my T-zone as well. And it's just been a godsend, and it's really helped smooth out my makeup a lot, so definitely suggest this. <laughs> so now on to foundation. My favorite foundation that I've been using is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi, and it's just amazing. It has um, SPF 20 in it. I'm in the color N4, which is a neutral buff beige, and I, I love it so much. I have it on my skin right now. I've been using it so much and whenever I use this people always compliment on my skin and I'm like oh wow that's so funny because it's from the drugstore and it's probably like $12 instead of paying like $50 for foundation which I usually do but this stuff is amazing and I am loving it so much. So now on to concealer. My favorite concealer of 2016 is the NARS Creamy, it's the Radiant Creamy Concealer it has been my favorite one. They call this like the Bentley of concealers and like now I know why. It's just because it's that good. It's so amazing on the skin. I got the color vanilla but I would actually go even, um, I would go definitely actually a, a color darker because this one's like probably like the lightest one in the collection I think. And uh, this I just use to highlight when I'm really like blowing out my face you know. So like I put it underneath my eyes, highlight my uh, my nose, my chin, whatever, like, you know, the whole shebang. This is what I use, and it's just amazing. It has a great formula. It doesn't feel drying at all. It helps keep my skin nice and, like, moisturized as well. It's just, it's so nice, and it is, it's very, it's the nice, like, radiant creamy concealer. It's just all in one, you know, like, it's, it's that. <laughs> so I have two more, I guess you could call it the base of the face base of the face, <laughs> face products for you, and one of them is the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. Ah, oh, guys, this stuff is amazing. It's the best translucent powder out there, and it just gives you that nice, once again, that nice satin finish that, like, you want to get in your makeup. Like, I, I mean, yeah, you can go for dewy, you can go for matte, whatever, but if you want that, like, nice satin on your face. Here we go. It's like a genie in a bottle. The last one is eyebrows and my holy grail for eyebrows forever and always because I don't use, I used to use the Anastasia Dip Brow 
Now I use, well I've been using for like ever, <laughs> is the um, Brow Powder Duo and I'm in the color Soft Brown and I've actually hit pan on this which is like so sad, like oh my gosh. But um, this stuff is amazing, I mean I like my eyebrows, I like the shape of my eyebrows, I don't like to play with them or anything like that, I just like to fill them in. <laughs> so what I do, I use this and I just use it to fill it in, I combine both of the colors together. I use the lighter one more towards the front and then the darker one to um, thin out my tail a little bit more and it's just amazing and I just have nothing but good words for it. <laughs> so now on to palettes. <laughs> I almost forgot what it was called. <laughs> so now into palettes. My holy grail as we all know and love because I've done, I've done like about five tutorials with this in it is the MAC Warm Neutrals palette. This is my favorite palette ever and it will forever be my favorite palette. Um, I've just like uh, I just can't even get enough of all these colors and Oh, I just love it so so much and I mean I've created so many different looks with it and I just even looking at it now I'm just like oh it's my baby. Uh, I just love it so much and you guys know how much I love MAC products and everything like that if you've been watching me a while if not hey I'm Liz what's up. I like MAC products like a lot. It's kind of the thing. My second holy grail palette, I should actually say too, because I've been loving this one. And I've only had it for like the past few months, but it is the Modern Renaissance palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Once again, an amazing palette. It is so nice, so like oh, the pigmentation and the formula of all these shadows are just amazing. I've kind of gone through it a lot now too as well, but um also, side note, this brush that's in here is amazing. Um, the fluffy end of it for the Anastasia Beverly Hills brush is like, I don't know what is, what's, what's going on with it, but it's got it going on. It is got it going on. It's like an amazing brush, and I use that to use my, um, to put on my transition colors. And my favorite ones together is the Burnt Orange and the Raw Sienna, which are these two right here. So I've had this palette for a really long time. It's the Naked 3 palette. I've probably had it for about like two years now. I think it came out, right? Um, around like two years ago. And it has been one of my all-time favorites for the Naked palettes. Uh, because I have green eyes. And with green eyes, a lot of like red colors and a lot of like pinky tones and stuff like purples and everything are going to look really good on your eyes if you have green eyes. This palette, let me tell you, it is made for people with green eyes. It is so amazing. The colors are so beautiful and I've actually dropped it a few times. I didn't mean to, okay, it just happened. Um, so three of the colors are out and one is actually gone forever, but it was like a dark color. I didn't need that color. Um, but these ones are all the ones that really count and then also Dusk and um, Strange. These two at the and I have in like my Z palette because I, they're still they're still alive. So. so sticking with the eyes, my favorite mascara in the whole entire world, and I know I've only had this again for like two weeks, but I did use it at the beginning of the year as well. Um, is the Buxom mascara? I just love this so much. I think the wand is amazing on it, and I think that's what really really counts is the wand. And a lot of mascaras. Like, I'm, I have, a, like, a reaction to because my eyes will just start watering, especially throughout the day. Like, I remember in high school having this problem all the time and I didn't know what it was. And I think it was because I was allergic to the mascara. And I just kind of dealt with it all day, which is, like, really, really bad for your eyes, I know. But, um... <laughs> This is the only one that I never had a bad reaction to. And this wand is probably one of my favorite wands out there for mascaras. I really, really love it. And I think this stuff is just amazing. It's my favorite. And I, I just don't know what else to say about it other than the fact that it's my favorite. So Another mascara that I've absolutely been loving as well that hasn't given me a reaction at all is the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. This one is amazing as well, and I'm totally obsessed. 
it's just like been one of my favorite products hands down um, the brush on this one as well is amazing I'm uh, not as good as the buxom one I don't think but I still really really love it and um, once again like I just I had to, I need to get a new one of these because this one's like pretty much like dried out so um, but this one if I could again I would use this one every single day as well like I love both of them so much they're just like my favorites and I've used a lot of mascaras out there. So still keeping with eyes, I have two more products. One of them, which is, well, both of them are eyeliners. And I've been loving gel eyeliner. Oh, guys, I just, I fell in love with gel eyeliner again. I couldn't be happier. Um, this one is from Maybelline. It's the Maybelline Eye Studio in Blackest Black. It's the gel eyeliner. It's like one of those really, you know, cult favorites like a lot of people know about it and love it and it's just it's really really good it's definitely worth worth the hype because um I think it really just glides on nice and smoothly on your eyes and it's just amazing it's uh, it doesn't really dry out either it still like keeps that like nice uh consistency with it all day it's pretty good pretty good <laughs> My next one is the NYC eyeliner and the only reason like I love this but I wish I had it in the black color and not the pearlized one because I got the one with the pearl. Not that it matters or anything like that, it's just it has a little bit of sparkle to it and it's kind of funny when I'm like doing my makeup and stuff and then all of a sudden it's like boom sparkle It's just everywhere. But anyway, this is this stuff is amazing for something that is cheap drugstore and not breaking your bank a liquid eyeliner that if you want to try out is the NYC liquid eyeliner. So now on to my favorite tools that I use for 2016. One, the first one I absolutely love is the Beauty Blender. The Beauty Blender or the Real Techniques sponge blender, whatever you want to call it. It's really, really nice. I use this every single day. I use, um, especially, I really love this, like, slanted side. That's the whole entire reason why I bought this, because I knew that it was going to be easy to put on powder underneath my eyes with this. So, uh, that is why I bought this one. So I have four different brushes that I've been absolutely loving for 2016. One of which is the Morphe E59. And this one is just amazing as well. Like once I put all the powder on underneath my face, I use this to wipe it off like this and then I put it on wherever like else I think I need powder. <laughs> and like it just helps like pick up the product and like keep it on and stuff like that. You know, that whole deal. That is what I use this for and I absolutely love it. My next brush that I absolutely been loving is the E30 brush. And this one I use when I want to set my, um, my, pr my eye primer. <laughs> I almost forgot what it was called. My eye primers that I have, like I always use either a translucent powder, or like a light color, and whatever the lightest color in the palette is, or um, a translucent color, that's what I use this brush for. It's really nice and big as well, and it's fluffy, and it's great. <laughs> my fa my other favorite eye makeup brush is the Sonia Kashuk. I think this was just the crease brush, and this one is a really nice one. It's a dome shape, and the bristles on it are very, like, I don't want to call them dense, but like they're not they're not like flimsy something like this um, so this one is amazing when you want to get a nice inner corner if you want it to look nice and sharp and everything like that you don't want it to like look all like psh, you know this is the brush to get which I don't even think I can get anymore so I'm sorry but any like kind of like dome shape one like this is gonna work <laughs> And my last favorite brush is the Morphe M501 brush, and I use this to highlight my cheeks and everything else that I highlight on my face. <laughs> and this stuff, I mean this stuff, this brush is amazing as well. I, I, at first I was like skeptical about it, and then I saw like Jaclyn Hill use it, and like, I, I mean I take Jaclyn Hill's words seriously does that make sense so like whatever she uses and stuff I really trust her and like what she's like reviewing or you know I pick and choose what I trust and stuff like that and this one she used for her highlight and I'm obsessed with it I'm really happy I bought this because I was just using like a fan brush at first but this one helps get the product on a lot more and and it really helps spreads out the product a lot more better as well so this is it
So my last beauty makeup wise stuff that I've been loving are some lipsticks. I'm just going to go through these ones quick because they're pretty self-explanatory and a reason why I like them. Alright, so my first one that I've absolutely been loving is the Urban Decay Safe Word and I like, oh, this stuff. This one is just amazing. Hold on one second, I'm gonna... So this one has been one of my favorites. It's called Urban Decay Safe Word. It's absolutely amazing. This color is just so beautiful. I've been trying to find a nude color for the longest time, and then I found this one, and I was, like, so thankful. And then what I like to wear over this one is Max Water Delights. I think it's Delights or Delities, I always forget. So these are one of like the MAC minis and this color is so beautiful over this. It gives it a nice gloss as you can see. And whenever I wear this to work, people always ask me what I have on my lips and I'm always like, it's MAC. <laughs> I can't even say it's MAC, but um, I always say um, Urban Decay Safe Word and the MAC um, Water Delities. Another one of my favorites for lips is Bobbi Brown's, which color is this again? Tawny Pink. This one has just been another color that I've absolutely been loving. It actually looks a lot brighter on camera right now, but it is such a pretty um, pink color. It's right here. And this one, uh, once again, is like a really nice like medium shade if you want to, um, if you want something that's like still kind of like deep and not like too too deep and everything like that this one's perfect my favorite mac lipsticks is velvet teddy and i'm so happy i got this i think i got this one actually like last year but i've been using this obviously for like ever and ever oh i love it so much it's this one right here and it's just once again a really nice nude color as well and it's just one of my favorites to wear for like an everyday lipstick one that's a little bit more out there is the Smashbox Jam On It. It's a um, one of their matte lipsticks, and it's coming off more red, I think, than it is. It's actually a really nice um, pinky, magenta, purpley color. Yeah, I think it's just coming off a lot more brighter than it actually is on camera. But um, this is just like an amazing color as well if you want to go a little bit more bold. Whenever I wear that color at work, I always sell it for some strange odd reason. Everyone loves it so much and they're always like, what is on your lips? And I was like, it's Jam On It by Smashbox. And they're like, go and get it for me right now. And I'm like, alright, I will. Hold on one second. So um, I always, for some reason, I always sell it. And I wish I wore it today, but I didn't. My last lipstick that I've been loving is the Anastasia Beverly Hills. And this one's in the color Crush. These are like my favorite ever. They're the liquid lipsticks. And I, I, I mean, this is going to be really funny because <laughs> these colors all kind of look the same. But I'm telling you, they look different whenever I wear them. <laughs> Um, so it's this one right here, and it's just so beautiful. The the um, formula of these liquid lipsticks, you, there's nothing that can beat them. Like it's just amazing, and they stay on like all day, and that's why I love them so so much. <laughs> all right, so that is it for my makeup products. So <laughs> that that was a lot. I know, I know, I know. That was a lot, and I'm thankful that you guys have stuck through that. And I'm going to quickly go over my favorite um, skin and hair products. <laughs> I'm just going to get the hair one over with because it's just one product. And it's the Carol's Daughter uh, who, Marlula. It's a curl therapy gentle cream slash cleanser. And um, so... The cleanser that I used was this one, and I've actually really, really enjoyed it. Um, I actually did what it said in the back as well to like kind of massage it into your uh, into your scalp for like three to five minutes, and um, just kind of like let it soak in and everything like that. And this is something that I would totally repurchase, and I'm very, very satisfied with now. All right, so you guys, um, I've I mentioned this in a few videos, but my favorite all-time favorite like cleansing water cleanser whatever you want to use it for is the Garnier micellar water and this stuff is just amazing it helps get rid of all your makeup oh yeah this stuff is just amazing it helps remove cleanses and refresh there's no rinsing as well so you don't even have to rinse this um, no harsh rubbing and it's for your face lips and eyes and uh, I just love it so much of something that has been like holy grail for me, even though I've only had it for like two months, is the Tatcha One Step Cleansing Oil, and this stuff is amazing once again. 
Um, all you need is just like one to two pumps. I usually do one pump for like this half of my face and then the other pump I use to use on my forehead and then on my eyes as well. This stuff is amazing. Um, it's the only one I really did have like a reaction to once again. Because when it comes to skincare, like my face is very sensitive to things. Um, but this this really it was really nice and it's really gentle on your face and your skin. It helps your helps leave your skin really smooth as well. So it's just been like one of those whoo things up there in the world that it's just like how, why, like how like you don't even have to question it. It's just amazing. <laughs> my last product, guys, this is it. <laughs> My last product has been one of my favorite ones that I've actually used throughout 2017. I actually got it in the summer, I believe. And I don't even remember when I like actually got it, got it. I think it was in the summer. I still have the packaging because I want to do a review on it. But I'm actually mostly done, so I'm probably going to be getting a new one anyway. But it is the Brielle Pure Clay Mask. And it's just been one of my favorite things ever. When I first got this, I had some bumps and some bruises in my eyes. No, just kidding. I had some bumps and some irritation on my cheeks. Um, you know, just like, I mean, I don't get full on acne, acne like anymore, like I did when I was a kid. But every now and then I will get some spots, and those spots are very annoying. And, um,. Uh, it's because I'm not like on top of my skincare regimen and this stuff I got over the summer I it said on the box to use it once every other day or like uh, three times a week I think it says three says for the best results use three times a week so that's what I did the first week and I saw a huge difference in my skin I oh my gosh I could not believe the results that it gave me and I I've been just like loving it ever since so when like for instance like right now you probably can't see because I'm like on the camera far away but I do have some spots on my chin so I'm definitely gonna be using this mask this whole week because um, I need something for my skin <laughs> this has just been something that's just I've been literally like actually literally telling all my friends to go out and buy because I love it that much. All right, well, that is it. That was my favorites for 2016. Beauty, hair, makeup, skincare, the works, you know. All right, and with that, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. It's gonna be a little bit longer. I understand, I'm sorry. And if you don't wanna watch the full thing, that's fine too. Um, but if you made it to this far, thank you so much. And I love you guys so, so much. And I hope you guys have an amazing new year and an even better 2017. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye!